what's up guys back again with another video in the spigot tutorial series this episode we're going to be learning about permissions and uh hopefully no permission permissions are it's just a way for um server owners to allow their their players to do certain things and not allow them to do certain things like let's say you don't have the permission to do slash god that means the player can't do slash god you know stuff like that um so we're gonna edit our current program that we did last episode and uh, so we're going to do it for the feed plugin because we don't have the ability to toggle God yet. So um, so what we're going to do is we have to test and see if the player has, has a certain permission to be able to run this command here. So, so right here we could have, if you want to, we could say if, and then in here we have actually right here. So we say if player dot has permission, and then here we put the name of the permission. So usually what we do is put the command name dot and then the permission name. So we'll do, uh, well the name of our plugin is commands part two, so commands, it's really long and stupid, but commands part two, parts two, I don't know why I named it that, commands parts two, and then dot and, the, and then the command name, so it would be feed. So that is the command, I mean the permission that you're testing for. So if the player has that uh, permission, then run the command here. There we go. Oops. So yeah, that will do that. So if he has permission, run that. But and then we'll have else here. We could say if he doesn't have the permission, then we'll say um, player dot send message. You do not have the required permission. And we'll have uh, parentheses here, command parts two dot feed to run this command. Okay, so if he can, if he has the permission, then he'll run it. But if he doesn't, he'll they'll send him a message. That message right there. So yeah, that's how we. It's really really simple to use permissions. All we're doing is testing to see if he has the permission. And uh, yeah, so if you're wondering how do we give the players permissions, well, um, to do that you would use like a, a plugin like Group Manager or Permissions X, and then uh, manu in the plugin that plugin you would give them the permissions like that. So we're not going to go over that, but um, the way we're going to test it, if the players opt, then he'll obviously have every permission in the game, so then we, it'll work. But if the player's not opt, then he won't have the permission unless given by a Group Manager or something like that. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and run this. So right click and then run Maven build. And then I'll be in my server. So we'll be right back. So I reloaded the server so we can uh, run our commands again. So we're going to run feed. And we can run it because we are definitely opt right now. And uh, yep. So now we're going to get rid of our hunger again. Run around a bit. And then we're going to de up ourselves in the console. Or just we could do it in game. Diop Illuminati. Oops. There we go. So now I just deep doubt myself. So we'll do slash feed. And it says you do not have the required permission. And then permission. And then to run this command. So great. It works perfectly. So I mean it's a very simple concept. If the player has the permission then they can do it. You know just whatever you want to do. All you got to do is do player dot has permission. And then check like that with the if statement. Pretty simple programming right? So um, before we end this episode. Um, we're going to try it with a event. So, yeah, it's the same concept, but we're going to do it real quick. So we're going to do it with the player move event. But first, we're going to make a package here. So events. So inside of that, we'll have new Java class. Um, player move. Okay, so then implements listener. There we go. And then inside of that, we can have our event. So void. I'm not sure if it was a public void or void, I don't know. So void on player move, and then we'll have player move event. There we go. And then e event, I'll just use event. And then, so right here, if the player moves, it'll trigger this right, you know, of course. So we'll do if um, player, oh wait, we didn't specify what player was. So player, player, equals events dot get player that should work 
So if player dot has permission and then give it the permission uh, commands parts to dot move. So if he has the permission to move, then it'll run it. But let's say we put the exclamation mark in front. If you don't know what that does, that means that it's the opposite. So this with the exclamation mark, it means does not have the command permission. So if it doesn't have it, it'll say then it's the same thing as saying true, but if it, if it doesn't have it, then it's saying if the player does not have the permission move. It's like the opposite, basically. So anyway, that's basic programming. So if he doesn't have the permission, then he'll do, we'll cancel the event so he can't move anymore. So set canceled to true. So now the player won't be able to move if he has that. And there we go. So that should work. And so if he does have the permission, then it'll just do nothing, and then he can move freely if he wants to. So, so um, by the way, don't forget to add the public keyword here in front of void. And then also had, uh, have the at sign and an event handler up here. I totally forgot to add those, so I'll go ahead and do that. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and run this and open this in our server and see how it works. Okay, so now we're on a server, and we cannot move at all. So... Yep, does not let us move, so let's go ahead and op ourselves. So then we have every permission in the game, and that should fix our problem. And now we can move. Awesome. So, so it's pretty simple as that, and uh, yeah. So if you liked the episode, leave a like if you liked it. Wait, what? <laughs> so if you liked the episode, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be posting videos every day, pretty much. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Join the Discord in the description, and peace.